can see, this uh, azimuth cable comes from the little underneath there, around the front, and then through the arc of a hole, and then around the top, and over to the uh, motor azimuth. So, on that note, I'm going to go and have a bowl of soup. Well, something I should have checked before I put this uh, mechanism back in place. I, I thought they were working, but uh, I'm mistaken because uh, the shut-off light, which sits in here, which uh, on other machines is the counter, but not on this one. It's a little light and an opto, and when it stops moving, it's meant to shut it off. Anyway, that light isn't working. And the counter, which sits up in here, and runs off the supply hub it also has the same type of little 12 volt 25 milliamp globe and it's also not working so I have to change a couple of globes so that could explain why the uh, play mechanism and even the rewind for that matter isn't working so I've got to see if I actually bought enough globes. I hope I did. I'll get back. Doing a small stock take on where we are with this 1000. I'm going to go over the things that I feel still need to be done. Uh, first off, replacing the polyprop capacitors and the uh, power supply electrolytic capacitors which uh, I do have now that uh, that will be put on hold until near the end because um, I don't want to upset anything while I'm working on everything else uh, one, one at a time is how one should fix faults and not uh, do everything at once and then have to try and figure out if you have more than one or two faults as to <laughs> what caused them. So that will be left till probably the, the, the last thing I do. Next, the counter display. The four seven segment LEDs, which are just here, while it's counting due to the new lamp in the counter assembly, which is just there, that's working. But the first and second segment don't seem to be working properly. That's the, the thousandth and the hundredths segments. Uh, aren't working properly in my opinion it sh I would have thought they should be two zeros but we've got a dash and nothing the third and fourth segment actually uh, seem to work which is good so so things are counting but for some reason uh, the display isn't showing it properly now what could be causing that well I hope it's not the uh, display itself because that could be really awkward to find a replacement and if it comes to that in the end I unless I can find a, a second hand one another one um, I'm leaving it uh, and and uh, the owner will have to uh, put up with it but if they eventually find a second hand one then well and good we can change it but uh, I'm hoping that it's simply uh, some circuit fault uh, that's uh, preventing it from counting properly. Uh, 
oh, sorry, displaying the count properly. It uh, counts uh, up and down, uh, so the the counter uh, sensor assembly, uh, I imagine, is working okay. Which is, it's a little light, and a two sensors offset with each other, and and depending on the direction, the phase relationship is such that uh, it it knows which direction it's going. So yeah, it, it's it's a that's a suitable way of doing it. Right, next. Is the fluorescent display module, which is uh, this. It's still not working properly, even though I've replaced most of the, the chips and, uh, and the faulty transistors and capacitors. So, at this moment in time, I... I don't know what's wrong with it. I've adjusted the oscillator to be 40.88 or close to it kilohertz, so that's working, but uh, it's still not uh, the properly displaying as a VU meter should. Um, there are a couple of ICs that I didn't get, well, I did get, but they were the wrong sort, so I think I'll just have to wait until I reorder those uh, ICs and uh, try and get the right ones. For some reason, even though they were the same number, they ended up being uh, 14 or 16 pin chips instead of 8 pin. Uh, and, and I'm going, what? Um, but the, uh, obviously uh, there's a bit of my confusion as to uh, how to <coughs> properly order them and to make sure I had the right ones. Anyway, I'll have to reorder a couple of little chips before I finally come to the conclusion that um, um, <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with it. So, uh, uh, and it, it's not preventing the rest of the uh, machine from working. It's just the display. So, so that one is also put on hold. Next. Uh, the audio in and out seems to uh, be working okay, so the, the slider controls are, are working, that's good. The audio in and out is working, that's good. Uh, so we're getting somewhere. Now the, the computer side of stuff, it, uh, when it starts up, uh, all the different lights show different uh, positions on the on the numbers. The computer has a whole series of numbers from left to right, which uh, show what uh, position in the uh, alignment or adjustment or calibration sequence it is in, and that's not doing anything meaningful. So, but I, once again, I can't really start to investigate that until I have the rest of it working. Now we're getting to the, the, the final crux of the problems at the moment. I did replace the, the globe for the auto stop sensor. It's a little tiny 12 volt globe. I replaced the globe for the counter which is in the top on the uh, supply hub so that made the thing actually get be able to go into play mode which is nice now what's happening is that uh, I think there's a bit of either uh, dried out grease or some other mechanical issue uh, whereby when you first press play you hear this really fast speed up of audio until the pinch roller uh, hits the capstan properly. So either there's a bit of dried up grease in the whole assembly that goes up into the cassette or the <clears throat> pinch roller itself is not properly uh, grasping the, the capstan. Uh, and it could be both of them too for that matter. Uh, in fact it probably might be both because uh, if one of them was working then yes you wouldn't get that sudden speed up so 
my guess is probably some dried up grease, which uh, I didn't want to attack in the first place because it means really getting into this whole uh, head assembly and I didn't want to uh, muck up any of the uh, adjustments or anything, but it looks as though I'm going to have to. So uh, that will need to be looked at. And at the same time, I know that uh, it needs new belts. Uh, these are old belts and the belt kit that came with the machine that was meant to be new uh, turned out to be the wrong the wrong kit so I, I can't do anything until I order a new belt kit and this is especially true of the capstan belt I put the old one back in and it just will not sit properly uh, on the uh, motor drive it uh, it just moves side to side and if it's this side it makes a terrible noise and and it's fast and if it goes the other way towards the motor it's uh, rubbing on the metal plate and running fast um, uh, but either way it's it's rubbing the edge against something which is probably the only reason why it's not uh, flying off uh, but at least at the moment with it flying towards the motor it's nice and quiet but because it's sitting on the edge of the of the uh, motor uh, pulley it's slightly larger diameter and and that means that it's actually running a bit faster than it should and and when you play a tape you can hear it it's running fast so there's no point in adjusting the motor speed until <laughs> we get a, a good belt that sits properly in the center of the uh, of the pulley on the capstan motor so I, I did uh, change the idler tire so at least that that part of it is working quite nicely so there's no point in pulling this apart until I get a new belt kit so I have to order uh, some ICs for the fluorescent display, belt kit for the uh, mechanism. So I'm afraid I'm going to have to put this uh, on the shelf for a little while until I get those things. So this could mean that I probably won't get back to this until uh, January, which is a bit of a shame, but still uh, I have a lot of other work to keep me going in the meantime and uh, it's especially with Christmas coming up it's going to take a while to get these uh, bits and pieces uh, in the mail uh, so it's a it's a long saga this machine and I just hope that uh, at the end of it uh, we uh, end up with something nice that uh, at the very least um, it uh, should be able to play back cassettes uh, quite nicely the uh, computer side of it is really all to do with recording and that's another story and that and changing the capacitors will be the last things I look at so yeah it's going to be a while <laughs>